What's up guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care as we have now completed every single side edge of entirety of Hyrule. Pretty much. We have 110 shrines, I think, or something like that in our pocket and all of the Koroks in every single region. So now we're going to go into the center of Hyrule. But before we do, I want to make my end game preparations. Now first things first, we have a whole bunch of different things we can still improve upon. Starting off, in Akala, just south of Tarrytown, you may have noticed this glowing foliage. This is our fourth and final fairy fountain, and we have some armor upgrades we can probably get by now. So let me just grab some fairies, and then we'll go see her ourselves. Right, that's pretty much every fairy in the region, apart from the ones round back. Let's go say hi. Boy! Sweet boy! Please, listen to my story. Sure. I am the great fairy Mija. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, but this is exactly the same as the last fairy fountain's dialogue. 10,000. Yes, the most expensive one. We have 32,000, almost 33,000, so we can very much afford you. Thank you. Thank you, you are too kind. Ah, the power! It's overflowing! <laughs> Lovely and purple. Lilac? I'm colorblind. Looks kind of lilac to me. Mmm, so you're the one who released me. I was expecting someone bigger, I guess. But a slim little lad like you will do just fine, yes. Thanks to you, my power has been returned to me. And I think you'll agree, a good deed deserves a good reward. I can enhance your clothing, but I need require the necessary materials to do it. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the max. Yes, we can now fully upgrade all of our armor, assuming we have the kit for it. So I'm going to use this to basically use all of the uh, things that I have. Now, we do need Farosh's Horn for the cap uh, Champion's Tunic, which I might actually get off screen in a moment. But otherwise, let's see, what else we got? Well, a lot of things actually require monster parts, and I kind of don't want to give those away straight away if they're all monster parts and I'm not gonna use them really that much for light um for like defense I don't really need it then maybe I won't upgrade might just get the champion stuff oh star fragments we I mean we have those but yeesh defense I think we'll kind of be alright without because I don't really want to use my monster parts at all yeah so um what's going on here yeah okay if that's the case well at least uh, we've unlocked the final champion uh fairy fountain Hmm, so long for now, I suppose. Once you have some clothing you want to upgrade, come back any time. See you later. So long! Alright, well now that that's done, I feel pretty satisfied. We'll get the uh, champion's tunic a little bit in a moment when we get Frosh's horn. But otherwise, we're going to move on to the next thing on my list of things for preparation. How fitting, it's actually uh, Kilton that I wanted to do next on my list, so... Any monster parts we don't give to him, we can upgrade with. We're probably going to give him all of them, actually. Oh, well. Nice to know. A chicken, or perhaps... Ah! Oh, it's just you. Good evening. Can I help you with anything? I want to exchange for Mon. So now, what do you exchange for Mon? Right, we have a lot of things we've collected over the years. I've basically never sold this. 110 horns, 92 moblin horns... 49 Liz Alpha's tails, 6 Lionel Hoofs, like over 100 Key Swings. We got a lot of... 250 Choo Choo Jelly, Jesus. We have a lot of things we can sell. So I'm going to do that and be back in a moment. Look at that Mon counter in the top right corner. Look at it change. Okay, so before I go any further, the uh, Choo Choo Jelly is worth 3 Mon on its own status, or 5 when it's one of these, so I think I'm going to go and uh, make my uh, Choo Jelly more valuable. Be back in a moment. 
So what I've done is I've gone to Eldin Mountain and just started throwing and holding a bunch of chew jellies and throwing them into a little kind of pit. Because it's so hot here, it will automatically cook into a fire, uh, whatever it is, fire chew jelly. I could have also gone to the Heber region and made them icy cold, but this place, it was my first choice, so I went here instead. So hopefully these will actually cook. Are they, are they despawning? Hopefully not. They might be despawning, actually. If that's the case... Oh well, I will slow things down a bit then. Yeah, they despawn after 10, looks like. So I will not get rid of more than 10. 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm counting on 11, but I'll do it in batches of 10. And this is our final choo-choo jelly that needs to be burnt. I ended up doing it in batches of 5 instead of 10, because I was still ending up losing some. Like, when I just put down 10, I'd get 8 back in return. So, did it in batches of 5, and now we have... Uh, I'm on the wrong section. 229 red choo-choo jelly. That should earn us an extra 500 mon, I believe. Because it's an extra 2 mon per 1, and I just changed 250-odd, so... The maths, I think, makes sense. I didn't quite check it, but it sounds right to me. Right, back to Kilter we go. All right, now we've just gotten um, just over 10,000 mon. I'm going to see what we can buy with that. If you don't mind me. Your current balance is 10,036 mon. What monster gear would you like to buy? Okay, so I think everything's on the table. Look at that. I thought that this one of the dark things cost 9,999. No. So you know what? I think I might indulge. Yeah, all right. I see he's on a dark hunt. I'll give it to you for a special 2,000. That's pocket change at this rate. And the dark tunic. You have a good eye. I sure do. And a good wallet. Or I guess a good pocket. Both. Ah, a classic. The dark trousers. Yes. Okay. And, uh, monster saddle? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm all right with that. Here you go. Thank you very much. And this one. Very nice. Would I like anything else? I could go with these, you know. I can afford everything. Oh, I'll get the spring-loaded hammer, yeah. Thank you very much. Would you like anything else? Um, sorry, I'm out right now. I'll, I'll make more soon. Sure. You know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll do the... We'll get some stealthy stuff, too. That sounds like a good idea to me. And the Moblin Mask. Yes. <laughs> And the Lazalfos mask. Beautiful. And wow. The Lionel mask. I didn't I thought things were more expensive. This is easy. Um You know what's uh, since you run out, sure, uh, I will buy these both as well. Although that's not gonna run out, is it? Ever. Is it ever gonna run out? No. Okay. And I'll sure, I'll buy your wooden mop. Now actually, because I was able to buy everything and I still have 3,500 left. I'm gonna load my save and not give him as much monster parts so I can sell them later to earn more rupees to buy more other things this episode. So I'll be back in just a moment. Oh, we didn't even need to do the choo-choo thing. We already have enough. 6,500 is I think the price of everything. That's intense. In that case, I will buy these all again. Be back in a moment. Nice. I just have extra more valuable fiery choo-choo jelly to get rid of. Red choo-choo jelly, by the way, it's called. I learnt that now. Mm, I can't make any trades right now, but thanks for being such a great customer. Okay, that's everything collected. Anything else? Goodbye. I have to see you again another monstrous night. You probably won't, because you should be very happy with the mon you've made. Right, and we have any monster extract. With that, we're going to move on to the next thing on our list. Yes, we're still not done with preparations. So here we are now at the Rito Village land, and we're going to do some cooking. We need the best items that there are in the game, and we can cook some of them right now. But first, I'm going to eat the stuff that's just using my space. So starting off, we're going to go with heartiness. There are 10 buff recipes in the game. You probably know this at this point. And heartiness is what is used to give you extra hearts. If you ever cook a hearty truffle or a big hearty truffle, you will instantly get full health. To get the best recipe possible, you use five big hearty truffles. We don't actually have five, but that's okay. We'll put them all together and we'll cook them in to make the closest thing to the best hearty recipe we can make. <laughs> Oh. 
Hearty Mushroom Skewer, full recovery of 17 temporary hearts. Although actually, I realize if I just did one Hearty Big Han and four normal Hearty Radishes, I would've gotten more. Well, that doesn't matter anyway. But yes, you can actually have the best one giving you five, uh, five, 25 temporary hearts. That's basically full health permanently. And, uh, there was something else I was going to say. It doesn't get used on the Master Sword, unfortunately. You can't use it to cheat and get the Master Sword early because it doesn't count temporary hearts. Or at least it didn't when I went there. So, uh, oh well. Anyway, I'm going to now cook up some more hardy truffles just to be nice. Now, for stamina, the best thing you want to use is fish, specifically the Staminoka Bass. This is the best item for stamina, and I'm going to go for using all five because I only have five. And also, I just want to be incredibly greedy with my stamina right now. <laughs> Look at that. Three extra hearts on top of the four. Uh, would we get four if we went to an inn as well? So we'd have seven hearts? Seven? I'll, I'll, I'll test that later. Now for attack power wig, I'm actually seeing two different results and I'm kind of going to test it here. Mighty Porgy is apparently the best, but also so are Mighty Bananas. I feel like it's probably the Porgy that's correct and we have only got two, but we'll put them both in anyway. <laughs> that gets us actually only level two because we've only got two, which is fine. We have plenty of Mighty Bananas. Let me test this with five bananas. Yeah, there we go. That gets us three. Perfect. Lovely. Next up, we're going to go with hastiness and speed, and for that, you just need fleet lotus seeds. They seem to be scattered all around the Zora region. We found them plenty of times while I was in there, at least. So, uh, give me this. Five fleet lotus seeds will give us three times hastiness, which is very good. I, I like hastiness a lot, so uh, I will very much indulge in that. Now, for defense, once again, we're going for a porgy. It's the armored porgy as the best. Otherwise, the fortified pumpkin is your go-to. I'm going to use both. Actually, I don't have... The pumpkins. I'll have to buy them in Hatano Village a little later. I'll do it off screen. But yeah, that only gives us one because we only had one. Oops. So I'm also now putting in some iron shell crabs to, to see how it works. They're also do defense. You can tell by the description of what they do. Yeah, there you go. That's three. Because I just guess there was five of them. That's nice. The only other really thing there is to cook are like heat resistance and cold resistance and stealth, which are to me really, really useless. So instead, we're now going to cook for money. We're going to go and grab some raw gourmet meat, because you can sell it for money, and that's all good. But if you put five in and get a meat skewer, you can sell these for a whole lot more money. So we're going to do that. This works for both the gourmet meat and just the prime meat. So I'm going to cook all of them, ready to sell. I'm also going to do the same with just the normal raw meat, and probably the raw chicken drumstick, just because I imagine it will still turn into meat skewers, and they'll still give us a little bit more money than just selling them raw. Alright, and that is us done for recipes for now too. So now, here is how our recipe section is looking. We've got a whole bunch of meat, I got seafood patella from a side quest, got a whole bunch of honey stuff, Energizing stuff, actually only one, so I'll, I'll get that more in a minute. Hasty stuff, mighty stuff, tough stuff, and a bunch of meat I'm going to cook. And then just random recipes that I'll probably just eat on the side when I run out of space. Right, so before I actually sell the items, I did want to go to the fairy fountain to make sure we actually used the items that we, you know, before we sold them. And for it, we need Farosh's horn. For that, what I'm doing is going to... Oh, shoot, I messed up. I want to go to the Lake Tower region. At morning, it appears over the lake, and you need to shoot it in the horn to get a shard of Ferocious Horn. However, because I just accidentally missed and went for its scale, its skin, I might get its scale, which is a bit of a, a miss hit. But yeah, okay. Well, oh well. We can thankfully reset again in the morning and do it as many times as I've got flint. Got to say that this view is impressive now that you've seen everything. Like you can see, that's Faron region, that's Hebra Mountain, that's Elden Mountain. Obviously, you can just about see the tower off in the distance there, which might be a Carla actually. You've got a uh, Hebra Mountain over there, the uh, Divine Beast Church, everything. It's really cool just how you can see everything, and now that you know the place, you can recognize the landmarks. It's just cool. Anyway. The real trick that I've been using up to this point is being so close oh, that you can't miss. Like that. There we go. And then just follow the sparkles and then we're good. That went backwards on itself? Okay. I also have the Thunder Helm to make sure I don't explode myself or get electrocuted by all these little electrolyte things. 
Bam! Shard of Hiroshi's Horn, even, not Thorn. With that, we now have two. So I'm going to go back to the Fairy Fountain in Akala. And we get to see what that uh, fourth upgrade animation looks like. Alrighty, now that we're here, we can also upgrade the final things that I know I'm not going to use, like that Star Fragment and some Red Choo Choo Jelly. We will lose some rupees because of it, but uh, you know what? That's okay. Let's go and get the Champion's Tunic upgraded. Lovely. That's only level two. Well, star two. Uh, so, I'm going to keep doing this. What do I... Oh, is it not showing up? Oh, no, it's down here. We now need the Shard of the Other Horns. Okay, in that case, give me a moment. I definitely need to go back and do some fun skipping. Be back in a mo. I knew it was too good to be true. All right, we are right now for Nadra, just by the Laneru Road East, just right on this peak of the like northeast part of the Peak of Awakening, right here. Okay, directly west of Mount uh, Nadra. Sure, you can see Nadra coming down along the mountain. It's going to come close along, and then we'll do the same as we've done before. Just thought I'd tell you the location in case you're doing the same as me. Oh well, I accidentally just managed to spawn him again, or is he? Y yeah, my teleporting over reset time, I think, so I can get another horn straight away. Helpful. Very helpful for me, but still. Okay. Caught me off guard. And Nadra's very dramatic, and now he shoots it all the way through the canyon, but okay. Oh, wow. Again, I was just too busy doing my own thing that he just shows up. I'm going to go to Eldin now, uh, Dinral even early, just because I need... I know it's going to come up later in the Champion's Tunic fun stuff, so... Let's see if I can chase the guy down, and then let's get his horns. Oh my gosh, he just appears right here. Ah, oh, now I'm too far behind. Wow, right there? No, I don't believe it. Okay. Okay, and this is our final second shard. To the fairy fountain we go. Alrighty, time to oh. upgrade Champion's Tunic again. Thank you. Nice. Oh. And... Any other clothing? One more for the champion's tunic. We don't have the silent princesses for it. Okay, give me a moment. Oh. Good lord. And as per usual, silent princesses are best found... Oh, these are nightshades. Hold on. I'm pretty sure there are... Yeah, there are silent princesses right around the uh, Hatino Fairy Fountain. Unfortunately, there aren't any silent princesses around by the memory where uh, Zelda was picking out a, a silent princess, but oh well. Just found my first first armored carp in by the Kakariko Lake as well, like just by the shrine here. Ironic that we're so late in the game and I only just found this type of fish. Another good spot for silent princesses is by the Master Sword pedestal. There's always three, just like Link to the Past. And we need one more. Damn it! There's a whole crowd of blue nightshades up on this tall mountain just behind the uh, Fairy Fountain in Kakariko Village, which is kind of interesting. But I do believe somewhere along this mountain is also a single silent princess. Ah, oh, here we go, there is one, just on the western side, eastern side of it. Cool. Now we can finally fully upgrade. Here we go, final thing. All ten oh. silent princesses and two of Din Rao's horns. Oh, that is the champion's tunic fully leveled up for defense. And now I'm going to just quickly upgrade anything else we've got on the side since we have more than enough stuff that I don't need to keep everything I have. Oh. Goodbye! All right. Unfortunately, you cannot upgrade the dark armor set, but we've already got the set bonus of speed increase at night, which I'm actually going to test out. Hold on. How's it feel? Oh, it's three o'clock. Never mind, it's not my time. Excuse me. But right now that we've done that, we're going to finally sell everything we've got. We've used everything else we can. I mean, we've, uh, well, we can't do anything there. We've upgraded the armor that we have for the most part. We've put food into the best recipes there are. We have also uh, put monster parts in to get mod and getting back armor stuff. And we still have some ancient gear to get useful of. But still, we are now going to sell off our equipment. So I've decided to go to Goron City to sell all my stuff because of Ramella here. She will sometimes give us a better price for the emeralds, or in this case, rubies. So now that I have plenty of rubies, I will do that for an extra amount of money. 
thank you. And then we'll sell everything else here because it's just convenient. I will keep buying until she says I don't have any. Oh, I don't have any. That was quick. Cool. Now let's sell everything. All our items have gotten the most use they can possibly get. So at this point, it's just a matter of make as many rupees as we can to buy more items that we haven't gotten yet. And it's not going to be food this time. And if you do want to make money and not sell everything, you could always just farm um, the dragon's scales and horns. You would get plenty of money from that. But that is everything I wanted to sell. No, it's not. I had a whole bunch of meat skewers I wanted to give away. Oops. Okay, now we are all sorted. And I just left the bare essentials, the recipes we made. Uh, basically, no food. The only things I... or materials. All I've got is the ancient gear, an octo balloon for fun, some fairy for life, pumpkin that I've yet to cook, and a single apple because I knew Link likes them. And then just our normal garment armor, which we're not going to sell, are we? Nah, nah, we'll be fine. All right, so now we have our classic lot of money. What? I don't want to try and say that. We have a big bank account now, sixty-six thousand six hundred and forty-eight rupees. And with that, I want to buy some armor, just so that I can collect it all. I'll be back in just a moment. Actually, no, I don't. I want to go to a Kala Ancient Lab first because I remember they actually do need um, rupees as well as the things we want to buy. So actually, we can get the armor. So I guess it is kind of getting armor. I want to get a whole bunch of ancient gear using the ancient gear we have. Oops, I don't. Have I not already bought it? I think I just bought it. Yeah, so I don't need more. Right? Oh, I can't tell. All right. Uh, make exchange. Exchanging beep beep. Exchanging beep beep. Results available. Weep. Oh, we don't have. We don't have enough. <gasps> Whoa! I never thought that would be the case. Okay. Oops. Um. If that's the case, we will farm some stuff in a moment. Um. For now, we don't have arrows. We just need arrows for that. Oh dear. This did not go quite as well as I thought it was going to. Oops. At the very least, we will buy the basics that we can buy. Oh, is it because I already bought it that I didn't get it for the next time? That might be the case. I might have bought it at multiple times. It's kind of hard to tell on this menu when you don't have sound. Because it lets you buy it and then immediately buy again. I can't tell if I spent on that one. Well, I'll, I'll find out in a moment. Yeah, I've just lost the, some more ancient gear. That'll be why. Okay, so have I got any duplicates? No. Good. Okay, so we were able to buy, a, uh, to buy a handful of ancient gear. You may be able to tell by the armor I'm wearing. First, though, the main thing I want to buy is a whole bunch of oh. arrows, since we don't actually uh, have them, and I need those for the ancient arrows, which would be kind of nice. Hey. Um, on top of that, then, I'll do a little bit of farming. What we're missing right now is the ancient spear, the ancient bow, and the ancient greaves. So I do not want fire arrows, thank you. No. So uh, let me go sort that out, and then we'll be back in a mo. Actually, no, excuse the back and forth. I'm fairly confident that we have enough money to buy everything. So I'm actually going to use this while I'm here to buy the actual gear that's here. So we have that. I don't think we have Hylian trousers, so I will buy those again. This is so cheap. Gosh, I can't believe it. I guess it's because I made a stretch to... No, I didn't even get this last time, did I? Gosh, I can't remember. Um, do I have stealth master? Do I have stealth anything? Let me Let me check. Okay, we have no stealth stuff, so that's good. I will use that then to buy it all. Gosh, remember back in the early days when 500 and 700 was expensive? Gosh, look at us now. Lovely. Right, now I'm going to go to uh, Carla. Once again, the only thing holding me back is how many arrows I have, which is kind of funny, but yes, I think this should be about enough. Let's hope so. So now we have, looking at our bows... A handful of the normals, I've used all my shock arrows, but we have 22 ancient arrows, which is pretty good. Very helpful, to say the least. Okay, now we're over in Hatano Village to buy some more armor. This time we already have the Hylian Hood, but we don't have just set. And this is nice and cheap too, so let's do this nice and quick. Look at that. Nice. Also, looking at my armor, we do actually have two of the Flame Breaker armor, just because we got one from a side quest and one from buying it. I am going to sell one of those, just because it annoys me that I have two. Next up, we're in Gerudo, just so we can get a the other gear. Also, I'm going to have a look around for the jeweler, because if I can, I might buy the other uh, jewel accessories. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I thought I was talking to you. There we go. 
So we get the alternate coloured uh, Gerudo gear, and also we can go indoors to go get some Vo armour, which will be nice. Here it is, just right of the inn. I was not aware of this. There's a whole bunch of things we can buy. Uh, we need the items for them. That's a shame. Uh, well, I already sold them. Sorry, it's not that big of a deal anyway. It's only little accessories. I'll, I'll allow the skipping of them. Alrighty, I think today is the day we're finally gonna go and take on Ganon in Central Hyrule. If I go have a look at everything we have, we've got all of the, obviously, uh, Divine Beast upgrades. We've got a, plenty of Koroks and Spirit Orbs that we're gonna complete a little bit later when we actually get access to the place. We have the best recipes in pretty much every field, including now defense. I can't see where it is. I think it's... Uh, it doesn't matter. We've got really good defense. We've got everything pretty much maxed out and a nice side quest food item. We got our bare essentials, a single apple, some fairies, and a balloon for fun. Why not? We have basically every armor in the game now, which is pretty cool. And of course, some really good shielding, all from Kala Ancient Tech Lab. The only other thing I really want to grab is something I think would be pretty helpful on the way. Let's go. And here we are at the Great Plateau Tower, going back to the very beginning of the game. Because it's the best access point to get into Central Hyrule. Now, I didn't expect this recording to go on for where it actually is at now, which is... 2 hours and 37 minutes. I didn't think it would take that long to empty my pockets, but alas, it did. Therefore, our only goal today really is we're going to open up Central Hyrule. We're going to head straight for the tower, and then, next episode, we're going to take the fight right to Ganon's doorstep. First things first, though, we need to actually get to the tower. Now, Central Hyrule is very obviously the final area in the game. It's designed to be so. Therefore, you're going to find a lot of guardians, especially around the tower area. One of the um, recommendations to do is go from the cliff to the west of it and just glide onto it. But we are basically level 99 now. Maybe level 98 if there was a leveling system in this game. We could not really be much stronger if we tried. And so because of that, I'm just going to take up the tower head on. We're going to run right through Hyrule Field and just take the tower as our own. First things first though, I actually need to get around this mound. I hope the music's dramatic. It's probably not because I can't actually hear it so I can't tell. It's probably just generic resting music of the wild land and the minimalism of the soundtrack. But I'm sure soon enough we're going to be seeing a guardian that's going to really make the music a bit finicky. Well, we'll see. Um, it won't last long anyway, because I'm very prepared for them. Welcome to the exchange ruins. There was an exchange here, apparently. Well, that was fun. A little piece of history. I think we've seen enough history in all of Hyrule. All I'm here for now is objective. For victory. No history, just victory. Sounds like a very evil slogan. Anyway, let's slide down this. Yeah, why not? We even have a special ancient shield preparing us, so we're not even ruining... A loyal land. Alright, hello buddy. I just happen to have... Let's not use the let's, ancient bow, ancient arrow. Bam! Sorted. Actually, I missed. Okay. Great. I thought I'd actually like slow down if I was doing that, but apparently not. Bam! There we go. One hit KO'd. And give me your gear. That did not go quite as smoothly as I hoped, but it's still mostly smooth. Right, we have every shrine in every other region. We have all three stamina bars. We have over 40,000 rupees still, 770 Korok seeds, uh, all of the Divine Beast upgrades. I can't remember what the other collectibles are. Hello, here is the Central Tower. I'm going to beat these guys up real quick and then let's make our way through. 
I imagine most other Let's Players you saw would hide away. Not me. I've been playing this game for over 120 hours, I think. I will find out the hours later at the end of this Let's Play. I can easily fight you all on. I've seen my fair share of experience. I shall take you all on. Also, there's supposed to be a second walking guardian around here, but apparently he's not popped up. But that's okay. Alright, I will hide at least to get close to you. All about the tactics. That's all this is. And... Hello, buddy. Buddy. Bam. Gosh, the ancient arrow is so perfect. So satisfying. To go through the entire game basically cowering in fear to these guys for the most part. To finally have them just go out like a flash. It's fantastic. Right. Let's go claim the central tower as our own. And I'm going to use my classic tactic of three jumps up and then one diagonal. In fact, don't even need to get rest, really. We've got just that much stamina. And give myself a little break. Lovely. Hop. 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 Oh, I'm going a bit off key now. Well, it's working so far. Okay. And final leap up to the top. Come on. Bip. Bup. Take your time link. We ain't got all day. Okay. The central tower is ours and all of Hyrule shall be ours real soon. And with this, we get our final... It's not even a corner anymore. Just our final splotch of Hyrule completed entirely on the map. And basically, everything fully open to us. I've been trying to avoid this central area as much as I can. And although I failed at the very last step for that one stable, we're still pretty much ready. Complete map of Hyrule extracted. We're ready. Okay. Now on that note, I am of course, I'm afraid, going to end it off here. Next time, you can probably guess what's going to happen. We're going to do a quick sweep actually along the southern portion, just a quick loop around to grab some side quests. Don't actually need to complete them, they're just going to activate. And then, it's time to make our way through to Hyrule Castle. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I will see you in a bit.